with the Lord that, the, that I believe God says, son, you're closer to my house than you are to yours. Why don't you come on home and be with me and enjoy the presence of the living God? Paul simply said, I fought the good fight. I kept the faith. I ran the race. And now there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness that fadeth not away. John, about an 80-year-old bishop, should have had his rights and should have had his privileges, should have had his honor. But they boiled him in oil. Couldn't kill him when they boiled him in oil. But they banished him to an isle called Patmos. He said, I got my reward when I stood and I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and all of heaven was opened. My God in heaven, that's a reward to see the realms of glory. My reward is going to be this. That one day Jesus said that there's coming a supper. There's coming a supper. And I'm going to sit down and feast around that table. And he's going to be at the head of that table. And I'm going to rejoice at the marriage supper of the Lamb. I thank God tonight there is a reward. All I want to do tonight is hear him say, well done. Well done, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Somebody give him praise. I'm going to hasten to my closing because there is another thing. Do you mind if I be a little preacheristic tonight? And just give me my liberty, just for a moment. Let me be just a little exaggerating if I can, but I think it's very foundational. It is the call upon every Christian life to follow this mandate that I have preached. Love him to the fullest, live a life on fire, go out and preach the gospel, go out and make disciples. It is not just the job of the preacher, the pastor, the evangelist, the missionary. It is the job of every person to fulfill this commission. Jesus said to lay up your treasures in heaven. Now, I know I don't need to lay up gold in heaven because they have streets like that. I know that I don't need to lay up pearls in heaven and jasper because they got walls like that. I know that I don't need to lay up diamonds and crystals because they have a sea that is made of all of that. So what are these treasures in heaven if I can have room to speculate tonight? The Bible says that when we get up into heaven in Revelation that we are going to cast our crowns that we are given at the feet of Jesus before his throne. So if I am to fulfill the great commission and I am to go out and preach and teach the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ, I would submit to you tonight that part of the reward that I have up in heaven are the souls that I have preached to and reached out to and have brought into the kingdom. You are my reward. You are the crown upon my head. That is my reward. And as I lay down and kneel before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, I say, Lord, this is what I have. Here are the souls. Maybe it's just one. Maybe it's just two. Maybe it's hundreds. But Lord, here are the souls that I, I tried my best not to make it just us four and no more. I tried my best to preach the gospel. Here are the souls and I lay them down at your feet. I don't know about anybody else, but that's the greatest reward. If you have ever preached the gospel, 
And if you have ever witnessed to somebody and they have come into the kingdom of God, the greatest reward that you have is to one day rejoice with brothers and sisters that you helped to bring into the kingdom. That's an awesome reward. Stand with me tonight and give God glory in this house.